everyone, it's Erin and this is my 20 to 21 week update. Today I'm exactly 21 and 5 days pregnant. According to my app here, baby is the size of a pomegranate and it's about 10.5 ounces. So during 21 weeks, your baby is swallowing a bit of amniotic fluid, which allows them to actually taste the food you're eating. I've been eating a lot of spicy food and a lot of sweet food, and I notice when I'm eating sweet food, the baby is kicking a lot. I think he's really partial to chocolate and all that good stuff. Also, inside your belly, your baby's sleeping about 14 hours a day, which sounds about right, but for me, I feel my baby kicking so much where I don't even know when he's sleeping. I notice him kicking more when I'm relaxed, when I'm just at home laying down or just with some people I'm comfortable with, the baby will kick more. And it's funny because every time I'm texting my sister, the baby kicks, like every single time. And it's like the most pronounced kicks when I'm texting my sister. They're saying that my sister relaxes me and calms me down. <laughs> my sister was actually the first one to feel the baby kick aside from, of course, Brian and I. So that was really cool. Okay, so let's get into the symptoms for 20 to 21 weeks. All right, so extreme thirst. I've been so thirsty lately and after I drink like a whole glass of water, I'm still thirsty. Extremely fatigued, especially during the work week. I am just exhausted. I find myself not being able to sit down for long periods of time and not being able to focus and concentrate on the work that I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like I just need a mental break as well as a physical break from it all. My back just starts to ache a lot. It's sort of cramping in my stomach as well. It might be because it's expanding, but it kind of has this feeling where it just feels really sore. I saw in the community that a lot of women feel this, so I didn't get too worried about it. My breasts aren't sore anymore. Um, they are still larger than they were prior to pregnancy, of course, but I'm not feeling that extreme soreness in my breast, which I felt very early on, and it was really it was really painful in the beginning, and now it, they just feel normal. I noticed that today my left leg was cramping up a bit. It feels like I needed to stretch it out, and they feel like they're getting a little bit more wider, my legs, and they started cramping a little bit in my calf area too. Another symptom is that I feel really warm. Office is always freezing cold, but I'm just like turning the air up and they're like, no, it's cold in here. And for me, I actually feel pretty warm. Um, I started getting a lot of dryness around my face and my face and my neck started kind of developing, not a rash, but I just started getting really itchy. So I don't know if it's due to the change in weather climate at the moment. Everything is a bit dry this winter, um, but my face started getting really itchy and I started noticing a little signs of rosacea. So I've just been keeping it very mild with my facial cleanser and yeah. Okay, so emotions have been very different this coming weeks. I went to the mall today and I was just feeling really agoraphobic and claustrophobic and I just wanted to leave. I just felt like I needed room and space to breathe, so kind of getting easily agitated in crowded spaces. Um, I've been feeling like I've been having a short attention span, so if somebody's telling me a story and they're really engaging with me, I feel like I don't have the energy to, to really pay attention. And normally my attention span is pretty good, but now I just feel really tired and exhausted. So I'm sorry for friends out there that think I'm not paying attention. I really am. I hate to say this, I was trying to keep away from this, but I have now officially reached baby brains. <laughs> yeah. I forget everything now. I don't remember where I placed my phone, if I'm holding my phone, or <laughs> I can't remember anything. I can't remember what day it is. It's it's very weird. <laughs> and um, hopefully my work performance is still all right, but I'm finding myself just not really paying attention to detail and forgetting almost, almost everything. And I don't know if you can hear it, but Riley is snoring right now. All right, so nutrition. Nutrition has been great. I've been craving healthier foods now, so I'm kind of getting over all the pasta and all the 
grilled cheeses and all of those things that I wanted in the beginning along with like the chips and the chocolate. I've been craving salads again and I think my taste buds and my cravings are going are leaning more toward the way I used to eat before I got pregnant which was a lot of fruits and a lot of vegetables so I'm craving fruit smoothies all over again. In fact I'm craving it really badly right now. I might make a run to the store and make some. Okay, so self and baby care I'm just going to keep this really short. I've just been you know, doing the same things, reading, playing music to the baby, playing my songs and guitar, singing to the baby. That's been the same. And I'm refraining from watching scary movies and just gory movies. Um, something about it now feels wrong. Like I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to cloud my thoughts with any of those weird kind of movies. So the other day I wanted to watch A Clockwork Orange and Brian was like, no, that's, the baby's not going to like that. So I've been steering away from scary movies and a horror is one of my favorite genres to watch or like psychological thrillers. So now I've just been watching a lot of comedies. So like Friends on Netflix and Portlandia have been my favorite things to watch right now. Any comedies, even um, cartoons, just, I don't know. I've just been thinking that the baby would enjoy it more. I feel like my baby is really intuitive because when I play certain music he kicks more and when I'm around certain people he kicks more so I just think that he's really tuning into what I'm taking in. So another important thing I've been doing for self-care is not googling anything. I noticed that I would just go on a Google craze and become a cyberchondriac and always think that something is wrong with me. Um, I've really been trying very hard not to Google every symptom that I'm having because that's something that I really needed to work on because I was really anxious. I wanted to show you some things that I've been using. I thought this would be helpful. Um, for dry skin, if any of you out there have really dry skin as I do, like I'm noticing even like patches in my face too. So it's, it's kind of getting out of control. I've been using Stone Crop Whip Moisturizer. And this moisturizer is actually more moisturizing than aloe vera, so it's pretty good. Um, I think it's even 10 times more moisturizing. And it's by Eminence, the brand Eminence, so I'll link everything down below. It's really great. I've been using these, this for years, actually. It's very thick consistency. You can even dilute it in water if you want a little bit more thin consistency and you want something easier to apply, water will make that easier. So I haven't tried this yet, but my best friend got me some Mama to be tea. <laughs> and I thought that was really cute. It's just a sampler size and it's organic and it has these teas in it. And it's good to know that this is for moms to be. It's kind of hard to have to gather information about what tea is healthy for you or not. So this is all safe for baby. I can't wait to try this. I'm going to be drinking it during my work day tomorrow. And I've been switching it up. I've been using this for my belly. It's the Marula Firming botanical body oil. I kind of have to pump it like 10 times in order to cover my entire stomach. So that's kind of, that's not really good. Or the pump is really tiny. So, so that's why I got this from African Botanics and it's really good. It is, has tea extract and it firms and tones your skin. So I'm really trying to prevent myself from having stretch marks. But a friend of mine actually told me that she didn't have stretch marks throughout her pregnancy. Um, she noticed after delivery, the stretch marks came when her stomach was coming back to normal. That's when she noticed the stretch marks. So that's a little scary. <laughs> so if you don't see stretch marks now, it really doesn't mean you won't see them later. Uh, okay, so lastly, I will do a belly shot. So this is my belly. Definitely getting bigger. And that's from the side. And this is from and this is from the front. My belly button is disappearing and it's a little off center as well, which I think is really funny. Um, so yes, that is the belly shot. <laughs> Alright, so thank you so much for watching. I really get excited when I get comments from you guys 
and subscribers. I think it's really cool and I really love making these videos. If there's anything you want me to talk about or if you want to see on my next vlog, please let me know. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!